Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day out there. I'm not. I was up again all night long with the restless leg syndrome, and it uh, kind of got me tired out a little bit, so I thought I'd just uh, commentary on it a little bit today. And uh, see, um, what, what, I'm not picking my nose. Uh, talk about it a little bit today, and uh, tell you my life experiences on it. Now, I got uh, uh, sleep apnea, and I got a leg uh, crazy, I call it crazy legs, uh, RLS legs. Um, the reason I call it crazy legs because it drives me pure daggum crazy. Now I know I've already commentated on this before, but I, I think it, it deserves some more time, so I'm going to talk about it some more. Because so I went to the doctor uh, Monday, and uh, I told him the whole list of stuff that was going on with it, with the legs. And uh, the CPAP part of it, I don't know. I, I got a CPAP test back in 2002. That's been a long time back. And that's kind of a funny story. Uh, back then, they had you go up to the hospital to have it. And uh, so I went up there and they made you go into the emergency room to sign in for it. So I went into the emergency room and uh, I, I like to follow the rules pretty much. Sometimes I get out of the rules, but I follow the rules pretty much all the time. My kids will tell you all the time, but they just don't know about when I was young. Anyway, <clears throat> so I went in there, and of course, you know, when you go into hospitals, all kinds of paperwork you got to sign. So they give me this uh, clipboard full of papers, and they said, go sit over there and fill them on out, and then bring them back, and we'll get you on up there, and you can do your slip and apathy test. I said, okay. So I was sitting down there, and I was filling out the forms. I was reading them, and it's one of them kind of like, uh, what do you call I don't know what you call it. It's a dual form that uh, you can use for two purposes. It's a, both to check in for you to fill out and then check out for the doctor to fill out. So you see it's kind of like combinated uh, check boxes in there. And uh, I got down to the bottom and where you sign your name and then underneath there was for a doctor to sign his name and it had a sentence in there with a box on it and it said a patient checked out alive or deceased checkbox I looked at that and I said oh, what the go so I, uh, I signed it all up and I went on over there to the girl to give it back to her and I said uh, can you change the option on this box here to um, not applicable? And she said, no sir, I can't. Uh, that's the, just the way they're set up. Well, I said, well, it kind of makes a fellow worry about checking in your hospital over here if you got to check the deceased box on the end of it. Anyway, that's the way that went, and I had my sleep apnea test, and sure enough, they said I had it. And they put me on the sleep apnea mask, and blah, 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 and on and on and on. But, uh, I mean, and, and my wife, my first wife had the sleep apnea. Uh, we didn't know what, I didn't know what it was. Um, but she didn't come in there in the bed. I always went to sleep first. She'd come in there in the bed, boy, and she'd start a snoring, and, uh, and then she'd stop breathing. And uh, and I'd wiggle her and shake her up and wake her back up, and then she'd get mad because I woke her up. But she had it. And then my second wife, she said I had it. And that's how I ended up getting it. Well, I think it was my second wife or just because she didn't want to sleep with me no more. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so uh, that's enough for the sleep apnea. So I'm over to the doctor, and I say, look here, I need to get me a new sleep apnea. We need to check it up and check to see about it, uh, whether that's related to the restless legs and all hooked all together, because it makes sense to me. There might be some two of them things. He gave me some more medicine, and I took it last night. It didn't work at all. I had restless legs all night. It didn't even work. So the other medicine worked some of the time. Sometimes it didn't. So there you go. That's on that part of it. And, uh... When I was at the doctor's office, uh, he said, we're going to uh, do your sleep apnea test, and I'm going to go get you another MRI. Brain, I'm going to do a brain scan. I said, well, no. Uh, I'm wondering about that. Uh, when You know, 
in January, I hurt my back, my sciatic nerve. And I had to do an MRI for, my, uh, for that part of my body, just, just that part of the body. And I told him, I said, I wonder then why didn't they just go on and do the whole thing from head to toe because they might find out something else is wrong with you. What don't make no sense have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Let's just do the whole thing. He said, no, we can't do that. The Medicare won't pay for it. They only do it in sections. Well, I was just wondering if they might not get all the sections put together right. They ought to just do the whole thing. So I just want to throw that out at you and complain about it. I don't think that's a bunch of bullshit there. They ought to do the whole body. And uh, like I said, they could find out there's uh, something else wrong in your kneecap or in your elbow or in your ears or in your, uh, you know. But anyways, we're going to find out what's in old Jim Bob's head up there. They're going to uh, MRI it and uh, see if there's anything in there. Uh, I'm curious to know how much uh, vacant space is in there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's what's going on with Jim Bob. Um, we're going to get that done, and uh, hopefully uh, everything will be all right, and, and I'll uh, be able to sleep all night long and get up and run around all day long. So that's uh, my story about uh, the sleep disorders, and I hope uh, ain't none of you got no problems with it, but if you do, go to the doctor, and he'll give you a brain scan. Jim's out.